Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Wet and Webflow. And this week we talk about how to create a canvas in your Webflow project that allows your users to draw. Let's jump into it. So now we're in our project and there are three parts to bringing this canvas to life. Uh, the first part is actually creating the structure of the canvas, uh, being the canvas itself, as well as the nav or the color pickers in the bottom left. And then after we create the structure, it is then uh, implementing that structure uh, in a collection uh, utilizing the CMS. And then after that, uh, it is the implementation of the custom code uh, for the full site. So it's three parts that we're doing. Building out the structure, then uh, completing the CMS and adding the collection, and then lastly, adding the custom code. All right, so let's jump into the structure. When you clone the site, you'll notice that uh, there are two pages. There's the home page, and then there's the actual canvas page. And on this canvas page is where, you, where you'll find where I actually created the layout. So you'll notice that there's a canvas component uh, called C Canvas. And in this component, you'll see that uh, there's some styling uh, for flex that allows it to be have the text uh, centered and then there's a width of 100 bw and a height of 100 bh and then a position of fixed and then that is all for for the canvas itself then we have the actual item that you're drawing on the canvas uh, and we named this c canvas draw and on this item is also 100 bw and 100 bh uh, with a position fixed and full with a z-index of three and um, this is because we want the z-index of our navigation to be higher and then after that we have a transparent background and the color that you're seeing in this uh in my project is the body and in the body uh, you'll find that the color has been changed to uh, a dark kind of a dark gray or blackish color all right, so then after that, we create our navigation or our color picker. And you'll notice that the color picker is also fixed, but in the bottom left. And it has like 30 pixels off of the left and 30 pixels from the bottom. And then again, like we noted, uh, Z index uh, that is much higher than three of 999. And after that, we create the uh, selectors within it. Uh, some we call them C canvas underscore underscore nav link. And if you haven't read the BIM article that I created, uh, it'll be in the description below and you'll uh, understand why and how I'm naming uh, my elements. And then after that, we add modifiers of red, yellow, blue, and white. So that is the structure. Now let's get into the implementation using the CMS. So once you go to the home page, you'll notice that uh, this navigation is not uh, just the elements itself, but a collection a list. And in that collection list, um, you can add and change the colors and even change the order of the colors. So we utilize the same um, uh, naming convention that we had on our canvas or on our canvas page. And so the top part or the top wrapper of the collection is named c dash canvas underscore nav uh, same, same as on the canvas page and then the item itself the particular item is uh, the nav link uh, component and then within that is the custom code so let's take a look at the custom code but before we do that let's actually take a look at our collection to see what items we need so once we jump into our collection called color buttons You'll notice that once we jump into the settings, there's only three items needed for our collection. The name, uh, the color, and the order. So say for instance, let's take a look at our, so which one is the first one? The first one is red. So let's take a look at red here. So you notice it has the name of red, uh, but then it also has uh, the color 
and the order. So say for instance, we want to change the color. Can easily do so here. Oh, uh, let's say we want to change it to like pink. We can change our name to pink as well. I'll suggest updating the URL. Save. And then you'll notice that the pink was changed or the red color was changed to pink. And you can do the same for any colors. And you can change the order one through four and do anything that you like. So I'll revert that if I can here. Awesome. I remember the red I use. We'll use this red for right now. Awesome. Okay, so that is our collection. Now let's check out the custom code within our element in the collection itself. So remember that in the navigation we created the collection, but there's custom code. So if you you'll see within the uh, link below that the that in the original tutorial the custom code needed to grab the background color from the inline style and it needed to be inline. There's no way around it. So it needed to be inline. And that's why um, there's a creation of the layout and then we had to use this uh, custom code for the inline style. So you'll notice here that the inline style contains the class names that we previously created for the links then an href of pointing to a pound or nowhere in particular, and then the style for the background color, pulling the color from the CMS. So that is how the structure works. Now, let's take a look at the custom code. So we'll go into our project settings, custom code, and here's the custom code. So this is something that you might be interested in if you want to customize this for a different uh, implementation on your site. So you'll notice that the canvas uh, is named using the CSS name that we previously used and that is c-canvas underscore underscore draw. So if you have a different name feel free to change it here also within your custom code. And then the next item that you would like to customize would be how um, how each link is used. So if you change the name of the links, this is where you'll do so right here. So it is called c-canvas underscore underscore nav. And then this is the link A that is being pulled or having the background color pulled from. So if you're into these things, feel free to take a look at how the script or this uh, JavaScript was utilized and created. And you can also see how um, you can possibly uh, stylize and make it your own. You'll notice that there's some line width, so you can uh, change the way that the lines are created, uh, and also the line caps, and many different things. And if you're even uh, more savvy than I, which I imagine a bunch of y'all are, you can even change and add additional parameters. All right, so we've done all of the heavy lifting. Uh, now let's jump back into our design. I want to make sure I have the correct red added to our color buttons. So I copied that, added that here, saving it. All right, so we had everything implemented. And if though I did not talk about it, uh, I will show you how the uh, heading tag, or excuse me, the uh, heading or the title is implemented. So as you previously saw, C Canvas has a flex style that allows me to center this element. And because all the other elements here are have fixed positioning on it, this one allows me to center this here and, and it is not moving any of the other items around. So that's how that is structured. Okay, so we've got everything in place. Now let's publish and let's take a look. Drum roll, please. And here we go. Able to now draw and pick colors and draw on it. Pretty cool. So hopefully this was helpful. Now let's have a proper goodbye.
pretty cool pretty cool so hopefully this was helpful uh, in the description below you'll find the link to the original tutorial provided by super high and you'll also find the live site and the read only link and you'll also find within the description the link to the BIM article that I mentioned. Hopefully all this is helpful and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Again thank y'all for watching have a great one.